Hey, it's Joe Tamargo from WetHeadPumpRepair.com. All right, we're back with our special guest, Joseph Jr., the nine-year-old pump mechanic. All right, so Joseph Jr. has a Hayward Super Pump Pump on the bench, and steps one and two, this is part three, by the way, uh, Joseph Jr. has ha showed us how to remove the back cover uh, and also how to remove uh, the stationary motor switch. Now, in this video, Joseph Jr. is going to be showing us how to remove the capacitor. All right, so go ahead. He's uh, using a nut driver, as you can see. And you're going to turn the nut driver to the left, just like that. And what you're going to do is you're going to remove the capacitor bracket. Now, it's very important. Now, when you do this yourself, watch the habit, the good habits of my son here. You want to make sure you put all your parts into a little bin like that. That way you're like, like oh, my God. And you're not, like, beating your dog later on or something saying, hey, where do all the parts go? All right, so there you go. You just keep loosening that bolt all the way just as he's doing. We'll give you a little close-up, just like that. There you go. Nice job. Nice job. There you go. Now, once all the parts fall out, right, you want to put all the parts in the screws in the bins. Now... You can see now he's removed the bracket, and he's going to show us, right? Show us. Go ahead, Joseph Jr., show us how you, the capacitor pulls off. There you go. So the capacitor just pulls off just like that. So if you were looking to change your capacitor or rebuild your motor, there you go. Now also push down the stationary switch for them so they can see that. The stationary switch, which is the gray thing right here. Go ahead, push that down for them. You can see now both of those separate from the back of the motor. That way you can have access at, uh, of that. Uh, that that that's that motor governor right there. So that's the next thing we're gonna be moving is that motor governor. All right, so there you go. All parts are available at wetheadpumprepair.com. Uh, we're coming back uh, in a minute, and we're gonna show you how to loosen the through bolts. And if the through bolts are stuck, we're gonna show you what to do next. All right. So take it easy. We'll see you on the next videos. Peace.